Let's take a look at standard 8.3c. This standard says that the student is expected to use an algebraic representation to explain the effect of a given positive rational scale factor applied to two-dimensional figures on a coordinate plane with the origin as a center of dilation. I would like to share with you some information that comes from TEA. The information comes from the Mathematics Teak Supporting Information for Grade 8. Grade eight. Um, in that document, it says that students may be given a rule to apply to the vertices of a geometric figure, such as xy is transformed to 2.5x, 2.5y, in order to graph the dilated figure. Dilations are limited to those with positive rational scale factors, and dilations are limited to those with the center as the with the origin as the center of dilation. I also wanted to just kind of review some information in key vocabulary term. We have scale factor, dilation, center of dilation, and algebraic representation. I don't want to read this all to you, but if you would like and need to review this vocabulary, you can take a moment to pause this video and read it on your own. Here's an example problem for this standard. Circle 1 was dilated with the origin as the center of dilation to create circle 2. Which rule best represents the dilation applied to circle 1 to create circle 2? Well, we know that this dilation is an enlargement. And we know that because circle 2 is bigger than circle 1. So therefore, we have an enlargement. Since the dilation is an enlargement, that tells us that our scale factor, or k, is going to be greater than 1. So let's look at the coordinates, or a few coordinates, from each circle. So from circle 1, I'm going to look at the coordinate 3, 0. I want to find a corresponding coordinate on circle 2. So a corresponding coordinate would be 8, 0 on circle 2. Now on circle 1, I'm going to look at the coordinate 0, 3. And then a corresponding coordinate on circle 2, 0, 8. Another coordinate from circle 1 that I'd like to look at is negative 3, 0. Corresponding point on circle 2 is negative 8, 0. One more point I want to look at at circle 1 is the coordinate point 0, negative 3. And a corresponding point on circle 2 is 0, negative 8. So we need to determine what factors being multiplied by the coordinates in circle 1 to get the coordinates in circle 2. So what factor do I multiply let's, let's look at the, the x coordinate here in this first one. What do I multiply 3 by to get 8? So I'm going to set up a simple one step equation. What number multiplied times 3 will give me 8? Or 3 times what number will give me 8? I need to isolate the variable to find the value of x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 8 thirds. So let's check. So this is telling me that if I multiply 3 times 8 thirds, that's going to give me the answer of 8. Let's check or verify that. So to check that, I am going to Multiply 3 times 8 thirds, which will give me 24 over 3, which does equal 8. Now, what if I multiply 0 times 8 thirds? Well, I know that 0 times anything is 0, so that would give me 0. So if I multiply the coordinates of circle 1 by 8 thirds, that's going to give me the coordinates of circle 2. And we could check each coordinate to see that it is correct. So what algebraic representation would represent this dilation? Well, that would be xy is transformed to 8 thirds x, 8 thirds y. This means that I must multiply all of the coordinates in the original image by 8 thirds to get the coordinates of the dilated image.